What's up everyone? Deathwish back with another video. Today I wanted to go ahead and cover the new Raven Spec Ops Search and Destroy event, or Distract and Destroy event, I'm sorry. So if you guys will recall, a couple of weeks ago we had a brand new event that was called Distract and Destroy. And what it is, and it's kind of meant to incentivize alliances or people within alliances to work together to complete these missions, things like that. So what you've got to do, all right, is you have got to go in and you have got to kill Raven troops, not bunkers, but Raven troops, just like the previous Distract and Destroy event. And once you collect the materials from the Raven troops that you've killed, every, every so often you will get a Raven flag or in this case, a Raven-like Spec Ops flag. And from there, what you have to do is you have to go tag bunkers, and you have to form army groups, get units in the army groups, and then you can go attack those bunkers. And then once you've attacked those bunkers you've flagged with the Raven flags, you can collect the rewards. So in this event, no different. So we've got to kill Ravens, and then we've got to collect, uh, as we farm the Ravens and we collect the resources or the materials, we will occasionally get Spec Ops Raven flags. Then we can go and start attacking the Spec Op Raven bunkers. And in the previous event, if you guys will remember, there was a couple of different rewards that are not in this one, like the Vanguard or the Raven uh, profile frame. Now, some of you guys, I know that was actually quite a bit harder to get for some than others. I got it like on the fourth or fifth bunker I did, and then there were some people that literally said they did 100 plus bunkers over the course of the event and never got the picture frame. So I'm not sure what that's about, if that'll return or not, or the uh, percentage of drops on that. I, I don't, I don't really know, but I do know that I personally got it, so that was good. On this one, you can get, it looks like you can get gold officer statues, the universal coupons, you can get eight hour rushes, uh, materials, uh, resource materials here, you can get all these different buffs too. So what I've, go ahead, what I've already done, since this is similar to the last event, but the main focus that I wanna, um, want us to pay attention to today is gonna be the rewards that we actually get from the Spec Ops Raven Bunkers. So what I've gone through and done is I've collected three Raven Spec Ops flags, and then I am going to hit, and make sure when you guys do this, not that you guys aren't already, but make sure you're paying attention to the bunker levels that you're hitting. Make sure you guys are hitting when you're doing this, the highest level bunker in whatever city. If you're in a Conquest uh, event, do the highest level Raven bunker that is currently available to you. If you're back in your level three city like I am, go ahead and hit the level nine bunkers on this. It's gonna give you the most bang for your time. So let's go ahead and tag. I've got three Raven Spec Ops flags, so we're gonna hit three level nine Raven bunkers, and then we're gonna go back through and we are going to open up the chests and see what rewards we get. So let's go ahead and challenge this. All right, turns it into a Raven Spec Ops bunker and then we're gonna go ahead and converge. So let's see what happens here. It, it, when you do this, like I said in the last one, and we're about to find out, I anticipate it'll be the same case for this event, but in the last event, the level of difficulty of the Raven Bunkers was not changed, at least that I noticed. It was not any harder or any easier to destroy and kill the Raven troops that come out of the bunker and ultimately the Raven Bunker. But we'll find out, let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, I would say that that's definitely not any, any, uh, any more difficult than the just standard Raven uh, Bunkers. All right, so let's go ahead and collect. Okay, so we have collected it. We've got our normal material rushes here. We've got our normal ammunition, and then we've got our Spec Ops Plunder. So let's hit a couple more bunkers. Let's see, let's find us another level nine. So here's another level nine here. Let's go ahead and flag this or challenge that. And then now let's go ahead and converge on it. Let's destroy this. And then after this one, we will go ahead and we will find one more level nine bunker and finish that off. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll close out our army group. We will go in and we will go ahead and open up the Raven Spec Ops crates or the plunder and see what rewards we get. It would be nice to get some officer statues. Those are extremely valuable and hard to come by. So hopefully we can find us a couple of those out of these 
these Raven Plunders as well. So let's see what we got. Easy peasy. Let's finish off all these troops here. And then move on to our next and final bunker for the video. All right, collected that. Let's swing over here. Let's go ahead and here's a level nine bunker right here. Let's go ahead and challenge and flag, get that flagged. All right, now let's go ahead and converge on it. So we can go ahead and get this, get this uh, last bunker here taken care of. And as you guys can see though, a little side note, it's got a timer on it. What people try to do in the first event, and it was kind of actually a pretty smart idea, but they've kind of already thought thought about people doing this, and they've created a way to prevent it. What people were doing, and when the first Distract and Destroy event came out, um, I was currently in the San Francisco Conquest event, so there was real high level bunkers, but they were they were everybody was trying to go for them, so they were few and far between. And what people were doing is they were tagging them themselves from different alliances so that way you know we couldn't roll through with our army groups and, and attack them um, and it was kind of creating a little bit of an issue so they've added a timer to it that way you can't just flag it or tag it I should say and then just let it sit there and, and come back to it later on it's it's a just a short window of time that you've got to destroy it or it's it's going to be released back again so just destroy the last bunker let's finish off these last troops here da -da 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 -da. all right let's go ahead and collect our plunder Let's go ahead and go in. Whoops, let's go ahead and go in. Let's disband our army group. All right, send those troops back to their respective owners. My troops are coming back. All right, let's go in and let's go to our Spec Ops Plunder. Let's see what we got. This is just a little demo. Uh, I just wanted to take a look and let you guys take a look as well, see what the rewards are going to be. Um, and as we continue on through the event, we'll have a better idea. So let's go ahead and open up all three at once. Let's see what we get. So we got, it looks like, a 8-hour military funds drive boost or buff. We've got a 24-hour oil drive buff. We have got a 4-hour troop durability, which increases by 5% buff. We have a 8-hour troop durability boost, grants 5% durability for 8 hours. We've got an assault training, increases 100% uh, training speed for 10 minutes. We got two universal coupons. We got... Let's see here, 48 basic resource packs uh, containing, each one contains 50,000 of whatever material we choose. And then we got eight hour, or I'm sorry, we got two eight hour rushes. So not bad. Uh, I don't know the frequency that the, um, the officer statues are going to drop, but those will definitely be nice to get um, if you're able to get them. So I would say that the more Raven bunkers that you farm, the better chance you're going to have to get them and the, the more you're actually going to acquire over the course of the event. So same thing basically as a distract and destroy event, a little bit different uh, rewards that they offer. But other than that, still pretty much the same and can be a big benefit to you and your alliance. So I appreciate you guys tuning in today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one.